Hey guys, before I begin my next video, I want to give a shout out to my latest donors, Mr. Bob and Bacon Plays. Thank you guys so much for your donations. That helps out the channel. Um, if you would like a shout out for a donation, you can go to Cash App Lid Wetzel. It's one word. I've also linked my PayPal. Um, or you can send a super chat. Um, thank you guys so much and enjoy the Here video. At the Clearview Mall in Butler, Pennsylvania. It looks like a dying mall. Um, it looks very vintage here from the outside. I've never been in. I'm sitting on a bench at the shuttered JCPenney. Um, so let's walk around and see what we can find. So that's the main entrance and it looks like they've got Dunham Sports, Dollar Tree, Boscovs. I can't tell what the one is on the end there. But here is the closed JCPenney, which from the street, it doesn't look closed because they left the sign up. I feel like Penny's tends to do that. There's a portrait studio. Leasing availabilities here at JC Penny. It doesn't look bad from the outside. Was this the main entrance to the pennies? A lot of those fixtures are still in there. Penny's closed in 2020. Here's another Penny's entrance. Yep, they left all those fixtures in there. That could be put to use somewhere. Very sad to see these stores looking like this it just it is it is it's very sad every time it just, it doesn't get any better now here's another clear view entrance with the rural king this triangle's pretty cool jc penny looks pretty cool we have texas roadhouse we have compadre's mexican restaurant and Something trampoline park. I can't exactly read the word right now. Action trampoline park. So, so far, it doesn't look too bad on the outside, even though the pennies is closed. They clearly have 
several open businesses that are doing pretty well. And this is a Sunday afternoon. It's also part of the trampoline park. We are battle zone. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's laser tag? Oh man, that auto center. Um, was that a Sears? This looks, this looks like a Sears. Does this not? Now I'm confused because I thought that this battle zone was a part of the trampoline park, but this entrance here is covered in bird poop. So this would indicate to me abandonment. It looks like this might have used to been a Sears and this was the auto center. Yeah, there's nothing in there. So this was a former Sears turned battle zone, now abandoned. <gasps> yeah. That's the garage. And this would have been the dumpster area. Well, even though there's a Sears and a JCPenney closed, There is liveliness at this mall from the outside, but we still have to look at the inside. So we'll see. And there's the epic Boscov's entrance. And I found a Rite Aid label scar. So there must've been a Rite Aid in the mall. I think this might've been a Hills which became an Ames and then became a TJ Maxx. But if you guys know, please uh, let me know in the comments. Let's go in. Oh, wow. Legendary steaks, ribs, and chicken fish too. This looks pretty nice. Clearly, it's got some, you know, deadness to it, but it's pretty nice. Look at this beautiful tree. We got our arcade. Oh, and it's a real arcade. You can get prizes, it looks like. Although I don't see anybody working at that desk. There's guest services, barren as can be. Closed storefronts, but yeah, this is a really nice mall. Um, I feel like the town probably would love to have this mall, but they just couldn't uh, support it. <gasps> yeah, that was definitely, definitely a Sears. Now you can see People playing on trampolines inside the former Sears. Got all these shuttered storefronts. I wonder what these might have been. Not sure. Anybody can tell me what that was? Looks very themed.
Well, we got Army Recruiting Center. If you guys ever go to Eastwood Mall in Niles, there's an Army Recruiting Center upstairs and you can walk up the stairs, but you might get yelled at. But in that case, you can just tell them you want it to look like the recruiting center. There's Compadres. Optimum Dance Complex. Not open right now. Trampoline Park over there. I don't really want to put the camera on these people too much. But this, this is a pretty cool mall. There's always usually a skylight feature in every mall. There are different forms you can fill out to advertise your business. Fairview Mall office, Monday through Friday. There's nobody in there right now. Looks pretty cool. Now, a lot of times I have some issues with copyrighted music in malls, so I'm gonna just try to talk over the music so that I won't have to put um, YouTube library music over it. But here is another closed store, Spencer's Nation. Not sure what that was. Boys for Tots. There's a bunch of boxes in here. Marine Corps Reserve. Yeah, this so this is starting to remind me of uh, Ashtabula Mall. Just the way this middle part is very open and then surrounded by a bunch of dead stores. And this mall is actually bigger than I thought. Very cool looking mall. Some kind of fit place. Not sure what this pastel store was. Look at that. Very cool. Balloons. Though no, there's a JC Penny. We gotta look at that. I like to do very thorough tours. And there's restrooms over there. Mobile Nation. Wow, a whole lot of emptiness. Wow, yeah, this this reminds me a lot of the Ashtabula Mall. I wonder if they were built by the same company for that jc penny to be closed since 2020 that looks pretty nice well there is some stains on the floor though yeah this uh the blaring 80s music now well at least they have um full candy dispensers it looks like i wonder what this was Boy show. So we have a Spencer's. We have a dead store right here. A little Halloween display. We have whatever the heck that is. We have whatever the heck that is. We have a calendars and games which looks like they're just closed for the day a lot of stuffed animals in there we have a Claire's some empty stores over here full dispensers yeah I'm gonna have to try to figure out what some of these stores were oh what pay less those all closed in 2019 Arthur Bob the Builder Garfield Nice change machine. I gotta look inside the Payless. Oh, of course we have a Bath and Body Works. Wow, Payless was kind of awesome. Yep, Bath and Body Works, Master Cuts, 
Some of these storefronts looks like they were really nice. Like, look at all that wood. And Auntie Anne's. Yeah, there's the food court. I don't think there's much really going on in this food court. Oh, oh, there's a Chinese restaurant, but that's not a food court restaurant. That's like, here's Nails 2. Boscov said looks to be doing pretty okay. Food court is completely dead. I like these tiles. I think you could just jump right on over there. Yeah, this food court, when it, even when it was operating, didn't have many stores in it. It wasn't very big. There really was only three storefronts. This was Italian village something. Looks pretty nice. Oh, they, and they have the seating in there. That place looks really cool. Win it all at the mall. Oh, another arcade? Or is that a casino? Oh, skill games. So that's basically a casino. Swing now. Empty kiosk. I wonder if that operates, but it's just not operating right now. No, I bet, I bet that's abandoned. Wow, look at this Dollar Tree. So you, I wonder why they won't open that entrance from the mall. They should. I don't see why not. Here's an empty store with clothing still left behind. That's kind of weird. Um, sports, they always got Kayaks outside and canoes, bikes. Wow, I, this mall is hurting very bad. It's awesome, but it's hurting. I will complete my look at the Clearview Mall. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next video.